Hello, I am Mark Pickering and I'm a technical team leader and lecturer for music and music technology at ARU and I look after recording studios and all sorts of stuff. But today we are going to have a quick look at mastering in Ozone 10, particularly focusing on AI mastering. That's right, it does AI mastering. I'm not sure how I feel about that yet, but let's find out. Okay, firstly, my workflow is I am just, I've already mixed a track. I'm in using this wonderful Neve 8424 summing mixer from Neve with some 500 series units on it, the 1073 preamps and EQs. And I've also got this wonderful and amazing well done Neve for this, eight channel 1073 OPX. I'm gonna get another one of these because they're amazing. So what I've done is I've taken my mix, ran it through, the 1073s, back in through Logic, leveled it at about minus five dB, so I've got a good workable mix for a master. And now we're gonna master it, and I'm gonna see how the AI masters it in Ozone. So let's have a look at Ozone. First of all, it's in here somewhere, I've already said, there we go. Right, so this is Ozone. And how it generally works is, mastering essentially is finishing off your track so you might have um, an equalizer a maximizer you might have a stereo imager to widen it you might have a compressor you might have a limiter um, it's just whatever it takes to make that track stand out and in here we have lots of presets that we can go to and start as a starting point cd master and then we can go into genres as well if we like um, but I want to look at this bit today, okay? So if I want to add something, I add it there. I can add more, as many things as I like. But today, like I said, I want to look at the AI mastering. So you literally, I'm going to click to the AI assistant, okay? Waiting for audio. So it literally wants me to play some music. So I'll play the loudest part of my track. So it's analysing it. Measuring it, and now it's building a mastering chain. All systems go. So it's done it. It's literally done it. So how it works is, well, I don't know how exactly it works, but it has compared a whole load of different, or Ozone have compared um, a whole load of different electronic music act, uh, songs, for example, and they found a tonal match for this and given it a mastering chain that would get get that result. So it's kind of a general, a general master, right? But it's recognized that it's EDM, even though it's melodic techno. Um, but yeah, it falls into EDM. Um, it's done an EQ for me, it's done a tone match. I can look at the mastering chain it's given me, I can play the track. Equalizer. That's actually quite good. Stereo imager, subtle about stereo imaging. I've done, I've done this four or five times now, and it's pretty much identical every time. And a maximizer, which is essentially a limiter, to make it louder, or at least you know, to boost it. So yeah, it's what's also really cool is. It's got this optimize option here, optimize for streaming. So let me just, let's just play it. And I'm gonna um, put my loudness meter on. So what it's doing is that this is the loudest part of the track, which I would say is about right, coming out around about 10 LUFS, which is normal for these kind of masters minus one dB to repeat. So that's basically saying no higher than uh, minus one dB full scale. So yeah, and I have to be honest, it sounds all right. So I can now change this to DJ play or player. So if I want to play it through a CD, God, who uses CDs these days? So let's just see, I'll reset my loudness meter and let's see what it's doing now. So what 
it's doing is it has made it super, super loud. It is minus 7.7 7 at the loudest point. The LUFS, now that's pretty loud, to be honest. Not point 0.1 dB full scale, so it's right up at the, almost as loud as it can be, as as, as, as much amplitude as volume can have. Um, and it's right, and it's, what's interesting is it's got dynamic EQ, and it's finding these little problem points. <laughs> And it's sucking out the harshness for me. Now, I might adjust that a little bit, which I can do. I can go through and adjust these parameters to my liking. But, I mean, honestly, I've got pretty good sounding master with the click of a button and a little bit of tweaking. I'll still use a mastering engineer for my band music, I think. But, um, wow, that's blowing me away. So, Come, that's all I've got for you today, but why don't you come and study here and then you can learn this for yourself on this wonderful equipment. Like I said, we've got hybrid systems, we've got in the box, we've got out of the box, we've got studios like that one, we've got studios like this one with a massive live room and another control room down the other end. We've got Audient, we've got Neve, we've got SSL, and many other wonderful brands such as Warm Audio. We may well be getting some more exciting things. And we have pianos, we have performance spaces, we have theatre, we have a podcast studio. Come here and study with us. Thanks for listening today um, about mastering using the AI function in Ozone 10. I found it really, really interesting. Um, and a little bit scary, but there we go. Thank you. Study here.